Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel this week. This week's episode is a little bit different. Well, I say that every week, I guess. But we're going to be talking about getting yourself out of a photographic rut. And basically what it comes down to is you got to get yourself out of that box that you're in. And that box is being stuck using one lens or one focal length and trying to step outside that box a little bit and trying to make sure that you're able to be creative. And the only way that I can be creative, this is primarily for me, but it can work for everyone, is, is that I take out a lens that I don't use very often and I look for images that specifically work for that lens. And today I'm going to be using a 90 millimeter lens and on a full frame, on a full frame camera. And so for, let's say for, uh, for Fuji stuff, that would be like the 85.12 or maybe a 50, um, something like that, somewhere in that range, something that gets you out of using that lens that you take out all the time. For me, I take out a 35 millimeter lens all the time. And I got to stop doing that and I got to step outside my comfort zone or my comfort box, as they say, as far as lenses go. So today, today I'm going to be walking around Rockport. Eh, some of these areas you may have seen before in videos that I've done before, but it's a walk I like to take every morning and or not every morning, but most every morning that I get a chance. And I try to do something a little bit different today. And so follow me along as I head out and try and use my 90 millimeter lens, which I never do. So here we go. First thing we got here is a, a bench and some fabulous ferns growing and it really works itself well for this 90 millimeter lens and remember i'm just looking for shots that work well with this 90 and <laughs> i'm not used to that at all so the first shot here is of this really cool fern and this bench right here i've got my camera set up it is uh black and white with some uh with the color raw and uh, i really like looking at my uh, my black and white in the back of the camera so much. So here's the shot in color and it's not too bad but I don't like the blue bucket in the background and the fern isn't really that great in the color that it's in so I switched over to black and white and I like it much better because of the way the bench looked and the way the fern pops out at you. We got another good shot here of course this one's in color not in black and white we still got some I don't know what these flowers are but um, notice it right away that there's a, a, a nice focal length connection here with the 90 millimeter lens as you can see I don't know if you can see this or not This shot here, I was experimenting with the out of focus background and I don't like the way the yellow leaves and flowers look. So I went to F11 for this shot here and it's much better than the 5.6 version. Uh, I kind of like this shot. Um, still getting used to depth of field, full frame camera and a telephoto lens. So with this image, I wanted the background way out of focus because the focus really is on the flowers in the foreground. There's a yellow bush behind it, which is kind of cool as well. But a fabulous shot. Uh, just very, very different. And uh, I haven't seen this image before. But with the 90, it just makes things look cool. So I forgot to tell you, it's a, a nice balmy 34 degrees out. <laughs> and, you know, the cool thing about this is, is that once you start moving around, it's not so bad. I'm going to my usual area. I'm going to try and avoid some of the shots that I've taken in the past. Mm 
Rockport Harbor at its best. Now low tide. So something different here. I was looking for shadows and light. And I got a very interesting picture of this. Got the shakes on the side of the wall and whatever that thing is. You can really see here. It's kind of cool. So I really like the way this image looked to me when I first came upon it. I don't like the way I framed it as much because of the way that the, the wrought iron there stops right in the middle of the frame. And I kind of like the black and white version better than the color one. And I tried several different uh, framing of it, like this one here, but it's too out of focus in the background. Uh, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't work for me the way it did when I first came upon it. Another cool thing about using a different focal length lens that you don't use often is, is that you don't know what it's gonna look like at different apertures. And right now I'm settled on 5.6 because I kind of like that aperture anyway, but on this lens, on the 90, get some really nice out of focus backgrounds. Really nice, because uh, of the focal length. It's just beautiful. Boy, it's great. Fall, not a soul around. A couple of delivery trucks, just great. Well, Susie Stories has an interesting door with some really fabulous reflections in it. So let's see if we can get something out of this. Look at those reflections, aren't they cool? Look at that. The uh, country store is, uh, is reflected in the windows. Now here's another scene that when I initially came upon it, I really liked it. Don't really like this shot. Uh, this next one coming up of just the doorway. I like a little bit better, but honestly, I think I probably should have shot the whole building, the whole front of the building. And the reason it's a little off kilter here, this vertical, is because I tried not to get my mug in the shot. So I've come down onto this, onto Tuna Wharf, I often do. And there's usually something really fabulous about this particular stretch here. And the light is just great. You know, it's just not that high. Wow. This is going to make a cool shot right here. Vertical of just the fluke there, and oh, I love it. So this is one of my many mistakes on this morning walk. This one here is I didn't focus on the anchor like I should have, which would give me everything in focus. So I went with the horizontal instead, which is a little bit better. Now this shot of the top of the anchor, I kind of like this one a little bit better, but no, honestly, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, so I flipped it over to black and white, and okay, it looks a little bit better maybe, but really not quite there. So when I saw this shot, I kind of liked it, and in color, it really doesn't do it for me. It doesn't really do it for me anyway. I flipped it over to black and white, and it looks a lot better to me. It's a little bit more interesting, but still not quite what I was looking for. Um, need more practice with this 90 millimeter lens. Well, that was great. Stepped out of our comfort zone a little bit. Got some wonderful shots. Today's exercise was getting yourself out of that photographic funk you might be in and trying something a little different. And I did that by using a different focal length lens, something that I never use. Or I shouldn't say never use. I don't use often. I don't specifically go out and use this lens unless I'm doing portraits or something like that um, on purpose. Um, this 90 is, I used to use this 90 on a uh, Sony A6300, I think it was because it was a 135 on that camera. But I'm using it today on my Leica and it's great. It's a, it's a straight 90 and have a lot of fun with it. I'm not gonna see a lot of lens reviews and things going on on this channel going forward. Uh, well, there'll be a few here and there, but quite honestly, I've reviewed and I've over reviewed and whatever the lenses that I have. And I'm not purchasing any new lenses. So 
hey, hang in there with me while I shoot some Fuji and some Leica and who knows what else. Um, probably some film and just going to be looking for exciting images and we're going to try and do some teaching along the way, which I tend to do anyway. Um, but that's it for this week. And if you wouldn't mind, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel and most especially comment so we get to get to respond back to you. And that's it for this week. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time.